Good evening and welcome to our rosary and the celebration of the Eucharist. Thank you for joining us in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray our prayer for overcoming racism. Mary, friend and mother to all, through your Son, God has found a way to unite himself to every human being, called to be one people, sisters and brothers to each other. We ask for your help in calling on your Son, seeking forgiveness for the times when we have failed to love and respect one another. We ask for your help in obtaining from your Son the grace we need to overcome the evil of racism and to build a just society. We ask for your help in following your Son so that prejudice and animosity will no longer infect our minds or hearts, but will be replaced with a love that respects the dignity of each person. Mother of the Church, the Spirit of your Son, Jesus, warms our hearts. Pray for us. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, Jesus forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The five luminous mysteries, and the first of the luminous mysteries is the baptism of Jesus in the Jordan, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we for those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The second luminous mystery is Christ's self-manifestation at the wedding feast of Cana in Galilee. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, sins save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom of God, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh, my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us, save us from the fires of hell, Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The fourth luminous mystery is the transfiguration. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O oh my, my Jesus, Jesus forgive, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires, fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. The fifth luminous mystery is the institution of the Eucharist by Jesus himself, our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now in the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, help especially those who are in the most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry for vanished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the most holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, Grant we beseech thee that while meditating on these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. And may the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. This is the one. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Stephen Clancy, and I'm your community leader for this Mass. We welcome you to our celebration, and thank you for joining us tonight. Our guidelines require that your mask cover your nose and mouth throughout the entire Mass. There will be no contact during the sign of the peace, but please acknowledge each other's presence at this celebration. Thank you. Please stand. Let's lift our voices together as we sing joyful, joyful. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Hearts unfold like flowers before thee, opening to the sun above. Welcome. 
the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee, heaven and earth reflect thy rays. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, hill and mountain, flowery meadow, flashing sea, chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you. Good evening. evening, Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Glad you can be here with us as we continue praying our way through these very challenging times. And we begin by asking the Lord to be with us and to forgive us for our faults and our failings. Today is the feast day of the saint of our time, saint. John Paul II. Today is the day, although it's not in the Missal, because um, before he became saint, we received this Missal. It'll be updated as we move along, but we remember and pray through his intercession this evening in our prayers, John Paul II. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who chose John Paul II to preside over your whole people and benefit them by word and example, keep safe, we pray, by his intercession, the shepherds of your church, along with the flocks entrusted to their care, and direct them in the way of eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to Saint Paul, of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus 
to all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Tonight's response is, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exult, you just, in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp with the ten-string lyre. Chant his praises. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on, a household of five will be divided, three against two and two against three. A father will be divided against his son and a son against his father and mother against her daughter and a daughter against her mother and a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It's a lot of material, huh? <laughs> wow. Some of them are true, right? Yeah. The uh, difference they say between in laws and outlaws? Outlaws are wanted, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just a little subtlety. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, the great writing, this is, man, this is the absolute brilliance of Paul that we have come to now in the third chapter to the Ephesians. How brilliant. So you can picture it and imagine it. I fall before the Father of Jesus on my knees and I pray for you, for every family who receives their name from God. What a great thought. Every family. Uh, the whole lot. And I pray that you have the riches of his glory and that you be strengthened by his power and the spirit, that you receive that power of the spirit and that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith and that rooted in love you may have the strength to comprehend the mysteries that we proclaim and celebrate. Wow, that is brilliant writing. I mean, you can picture it. Paul falling on his knees, praying to the Father in heaven for every family. What a great peace. 
and he's praying that uh, we may see him more clearly, love him more dearly, and follow him more nearly day by day. That's what he is summarizing. That was the influential piece in the great Godspell piece. To know him, to love him, to serve him, to have knowledge of him, and to have the full understanding of the mysteries that we proclaim in faith. That the power of the Spirit of work in us would bring it alive and bring us alive to that relationship with Jesus Christ. What a marvelous, wonderful piece of writing uh, and prayer for us. And that prayer continues. We believe in the communion of saints. And then we come to the gospel. And wow, quite different. Jesus saying, uh, I've come to light a fire, um, and how I wish that it were already ablaze. I have a baptism, and how I wish it were accomplished. And do you think I have come to bring peace on the earth? No, I tell you, rather division. And it's not that he has come to bring division, but his very presence would be the source of division and divisiveness. This is a great Lucan theme. And for Luke, the division is not so much, you know, the ones that are reiterated here, you know, father and son, those happen, daughter and mother and daughter-in-law and mother-in-law and all of those. All of those conflicts unfold, and hey, some of them in relationship to faith and in relationship to Jesus, you know, and think about it, man, in our world, how big that is sometimes, you know? Because you're not one of us or because you worship here or you worship there, and we have those issues that can become so significant and cause such distress. Um, the presence of Jesus is what is important. If we understood the presence of Jesus, we wouldn't be so divisive about worshiping here and worshiping there and worshiping that church and this denomination and that denomination. But we would have a much better freedom of people celebrating the Spirit of God that is alive in us. And as St. Paul says, bringing to fruitfulness the mysteries that live within us and the mysteries that we proclaim in faith. But for Luke, the division is much more so within. It's not those divisions, but the division within. Uh, how I'm divided about, I want it my way, but hey, I want it his way too. But it's a battle. It's ongoing. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do what he wants me to do. But I find it, why in the heck is it so conflictual? Why can't they just gel together? And, uh, and that is the real conflict. And throughout Luke's gospel, he has that theme before us in many of the uh, parables. It is there, much of the teaching of Jesus. The conflict goes on within us, you know? You can't serve God and money. You can't, you know... Over and over again, Jesus teaching on it. You can't serve two masters. Uh, you can't do your own thing and do my thing. Uh, the objective of life is bringing into harmony uh, myself and my attitudes and my disposition and bringing them into harmony in terms of him because that's the ultimate freedom. We think of freedom Quite often in other ways, free to do whatever I want. No, the ultimate freedom is when I am in union and communion with my Creator. There is no freedom apart from or outside of that reality. The ultimate freedom comes when I am free in Him who has created me, the artist, the one who gave expression and gave life to me. And so... Uh, it's very much in keeping with Paul's. While we hear it at first, we think, wow, that's something. But when we hear it at a deeper level, Jesus is saying the very same thing. He's praying for us to come into that communion that Paul was praying for, for every family 
And for every individual that moved by the Spirit of God, we might be in communion with Christ Jesus and know our purpose in life. Father, we ask you to hear our prayers as we present them now to you. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we may continue to recognize God's work in the world today and point to God as the ultimate source of all that we have. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected leaders, that they may be ever cognizant of the privilege that they hold their positions of power and that they exercise that privilege for the benefit of all whom they serve. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those subjected to hatred or violence because of their identity, race, or beliefs, that they may receive help and hope in the darkness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may grow in appreciation for all that we have as we repay to God what belongs to God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and the world, that they may in good conscience abide by all safety precautions to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our faithful departed brothers and sisters who have died in the hope of rising again, especially Stu Murphy and Uriel Leonard Hamburg, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are sick in our parish community and in need of your healing and saving power. We pray for Don Autry, who will have the surgery in the morning, and Liz LaFontaine, and all of the others who have asked us to remember them in prayer. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the repose of the soul of them. Um, of Ken Mason, who died tragically in Greenville. We pray for his mom, Lovey, and for his family. We ask you, Lord, to be with them at this time of great struggle and great strife, and we ask you to receive him into the peace of your kingdom. We pray to you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, all of these are prayers we bring to you. We ask that you accept them and grant them, for we offer them with faith in Christ our Lord. And uh, we're praying especially for Stu Murphy, Jane, at Mass tonight, and um, for Uriel, um, Sam and Kalisa's son who died five years ago today, right? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, the work of human hands who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God, who is our Almighty Father. Praise and glory of His name. For our good and the good of all His holy church, accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory and honor of John Paul II a means of our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as on the festival of St. John Paul II you bid your church to rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, 
You teach her by the words of preaching, and you keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with all of the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory as we say. indeed holy O Lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more Giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all of your people. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the apostles and with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now we pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always freed from sin and safe from all distress. As we await in blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, Lord, now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Thank you. And let us be grateful for that peace and acknowledge that peace to one another. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up that fire of charity with which St. John Paul II burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God continue to bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Mass ascended, and we go now in peace to love and serve God and each other. Thanks be to God. Registration is now open on the St. Paul website for RCIA. If you know anyone interested in learning more about our faith or the Catholic Church, please encourage them to register online. We are in our fourth week of religious education. If you still need to register, email Renee Bourne or call the church office. Family bags for our online domestic church are located near the church offices. If you haven't picked up a bag, please get one today. Please note our Monday morning mass time has changed. We will celebrate mass every Monday at 10 a.m. It's time to order the 2021 offertory envelopes. If you wish to receive a box set of giving envelopes for the year 2021, Please send us an email to office at spaulcc.org. Include your name, mailing address, and envelope number, if applicable. Even if you have previously received envelopes, you must sign up or send us an email with this information to reorder. There is no automatic renewal. We place a new order each year. Thank you. We will now say our parish commitment prayer. Amen. Here is my promise, Lord. I commit to look for the face of God in every face I see. I commit to respect and act with empathy and compassion toward all, especially those who are struggling. 
and those whose beliefs, values, and lifestyles are different from mine, <coughs> I will do my part to stop the spread of the virus, prejudice, racism, poverty, and negativity. I can only do this through you, with you, and in you, Almighty God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, Amen. Please join together as we sing Companions on the Journey. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life. And in the love we bear is the hope we share, for we believe in the love of we believe in the love of our God. No longer strangers to each other, no longer strangers in God's house. We are fed and we are nourished by the strength of those who care, by the strength of those who care. We are companions on the journey, breaking bread and sharing life, and in the love we share is the hope we share, for we believe in the love of our God, we believe in the love of our God. 